<laughs> okay, class. This is Evil Prof. We are on Mission Improbable. See, that's the LCBO. We're in downtown Toronto. You know what's a good thing to do on a uh, rainy evening? Because it's a rainy day right now. Drink alcohol. So we're on a mission to find the evil wife something to drink tonight that's not a cooler, just for lightweights. So we're gonna go check it out and see if we don't get kicked out of here, because that is possible. So we're gonna head in, and we're gonna see if we can find the evil wife, sorry, something yummy to drink. We'll check in in a second. Okay, so our first area we're looking at is liqueurs. And, because um, the evil wife likes stuff that tastes funny. Like McGinnis, Crème de Mont, okay? But what she's also looking at is this McGinnis peppermint schnapps. You know why? 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 Because I like peppermint and it's fun to say schnapps. According to Big Bang Theory, it's fun to say schnapps. So we're looking at this. See, when I'm looking at booze, all I look at is the alcohol percentage, which it's hard to see there, but it's 22, and I usually start at what, 35? <laughs> Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Like this, Grey Goose. 40% alcohol by volume. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go and we're just gonna kind of wander around. And we'll see what else there is for the. We have to get something that tastes like funny of some kind because the evil wife, again, she. I'm a lightweight. She's a lightweight. There's no other way to say it. So, now I've never understood this. Look at this. Now it's Jameson whiskey, Irish whiskey. It's booze that comes in a box that has a bottle inside. I haven't figured that out yet. It's because it's expensive stuff. Oh, the expensive stuff. Well, it's not that expensive, but it comes in a box. You want the really expensive stuff? Let's go to the premiums. Okay, so we're going to check out the premiums. What the hell is this? Oh. Brandy. 40% brandy. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're in the expensive area now, and it's really just one little kind of display. And it's hard to show you because I don't want to show you my reflection, which I'll show up there. But right there... That is La Sens de Courvoisier Cognac, and it's $3,200 a bottle. And over there, they've got Jamaica Appleton Estate 50 for five grand for booze. Oh my goodness. Do I have to go? Yes. Oh, what Eve Wife says you have to go. Okay, so, whiskey shop. And again, more bottles in boxes. This is what we call wasteful packaging. Actually, that's kind of neat. Evil Wife, however, seems to like this one. Pure malt product of Nika? I don't even know what the hell it is. But at any rate, she likes it because the bottle's cute. Yeah, but it's also 75 bucks. Eh, well, better get you good and drunk. Okay, class, this is my people. This is a wall of vodka. We got some funny tasting Smirnov, which I don't want. More funny tasting Smirnov, which I don't want. Funny tasting Grey Goose, which I don't want. Here's the pure stuff. Don't even know what the hell that is. Ooh, the pure stuff. Absolute. See, I like anything that comes in a glass bottle. Anyways, but I already have vodka. Now, I could have lots of vodka, which is good, but... Uh, we store it in the freezer and we don't have a lot of space. Can't put a lot of stuff in the freezer because apparently you're supposed to put food in the freezer, so I can't fill it with booze. Okay, I just like that one because the bottle's cool. Yeah, I kind of do that too, but it's plastic. Plastic booze bottles suck. And it should be outlawed. Because I like glass booze bottles. That's class. I like that. So, anyways, we're going to see if we can find something for the evil wife, because that's our primary mission, and she's trying to drag me away. Ooh, Crown Royal. Mmm. Interesting. So, anyways, we're going to get the wife a bottle of something, and we'll see if we get lit later on. Maybe not. Maybe not tonight. But anyways, we got to see if we can get the evil wife something and do that before we get kicked out, because they're kind of watching us now. Okay, so here we've got some prepackaged Clamato drink. Caesars and stuff. One of my friends is like, you gotta get Caesars and drink Clamato. It's gross. Don't. It's tomato and clam juice. Bleh. Ah, Bailey's. Coffee and hot chocolate just isn't the same without you. Oh, good stuff. Our mission has been accomplished. We need to get the hell out of here before the before we get kicked out. Oh, door's open. Okay. Okay, class. We have made it through the LCBO, and we have been successful. Evil wife, what did we pick up? We picked up... Whipped cream liqueur. McGinnis. Vodka. Oh, vodka. I like the vodka. Vodka, vodka. Oh. That's metal. Yep. Or glass. Metal. Have that's you been plastic. It already? Oh my god, I wish. But that's good. That's plastic. 
So whipped cream? Yeah. Whipped cream. What kind of girly drink is whipped cream schnapps? I put it into hot chocolate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so anyways, we got the evil wife some booze. It's 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 not a cooler. I think it's what, 22? Yep. No, okay, well I guess that's acceptable. So we've survived. So you can see it sucks out here and it's raining. So before my camera fries, we're gonna wrap up this field trip. We may check in once more once we've had a got to sample said booze. Maybe. Yay! And otherwise, thank you for coming on us with this very short field trip. Thank you very much. Class is dismissed. Yay for booze! All right. Here's this bottle of McGinnis whipped cream. The schnapps. Schnapps? Yes. Schnapps. Um, and as you can see, the evil wife has been uh, trying it on occasion. Uh-huh. Um... And what do you think of the evil wife? I like it. She likes it. I will tell you what I think of it with a small shot. Well, this is a double shot glass, but I'm not doing a double shot. Pussy. Um, I do double shots of straight vodka. It's and yet you won't do a full single shot of, of this. It's because I don't think I'm going to like the taste. Anyway, so here we've got a little bit of the whipped cream liqueur or schnapps in here. Let's, let, let me try this. Ah, it's like drinking super concentrated white freezy. <laughs> ah, okay. It probably would be good in hot chocolate. Is it good in hot chocolate? Yeah. You know what? I don't know what you Americans have, but for Canadians, Tim Hortons does a white hot chocolate. Yep. And it tastes like uh, uh, Rice Krispie squares. Oh, yeah. This makes that more happy. Just telling you. So am um, I impressed with this? Nah, evil wife likes it, and maybe we'll get her pissed drunk. So, catch you later.